400 million miles from Earth. Flying a commercial airliner here would take nearly a century. What a weird looking place. And yet, strangely familiar. A bit like the Arctic, with all that ice, all those ridges and cracks. It's Jupiter's moon, Europa. And maybe like the Arctic, this ice is floating on water, liquid water. But we're half a billion miles from the sun. Surely Europa is frozen solid. Unless Jupiter's gravity is creating friction deep inside, heating the ice into water, allowing life to develop in the waters beneath its frozen crust. We might be feet away from aliens, from a whole ecosystem of microbes, crustaceans, maybe even squid. The only thing between us and the possibility of alien life, this layer of ice, but until we send a spacecraft to drill here, Europa's secrets will remain beyond reach. It's captivated our imaginations, haunted our dreams. And here it is, spinning before our eyes. Saturn, named for the Roman god who reigned over a golden age of peace and harmony. This planet's a giant ball of gas, so light it would float on water. Its spectacular rings would stretch almost from Earth to the moon. There's the Cassini orbiter. It's picking up ghostly radio emissions, probably generated by auroras around Saturn's poles. This is the real music of the spheres. Cassini's telling us where these rings came from. They're the remnants of a moon shattered by Saturn's gravitational pull. Incomparable beauty from total destruction. Billions of shards of ice, some as small as ice cubes, others the size of houses. They collide, break apart, reassemble. It's like a snapshot of our early solar system. As dust and gas orbited the newly born sun, and gravity worked its magic, pulling the lumps together until from space trash like this, our home emerged. We could stay here forever. But there's so much further to go so much more to see. Like this moon wrapped in thick clouds. Titan. There's an atmosphere down here. There's wind, rain, even seasons. Rivers, lakes, and oceans. It looks so familiar, so similar to Earth.
but that's not water. It's liquid natural gas. Hundreds of times more natural gas than all the Earth's oil and gas reserves. Maybe one day we'll use this energy to fuel a colony. Assuming there isn't life here already. The Huygens space probe is here to find out. It's telling us there's organic material in the soil. But it's so cold, minus 300 degrees. There's no way life could develop. Unless Titan warms up. The sun is supposed to get hotter. When it does, maybe life will spring up here, just like it did on Earth. And as the Earth gets too hot for us, maybe we'll move to Titan. One day we might call this distant land home. Home. We're at least 700 million miles away now. After this, we lose visual contact with Earth. We're standing on a cliff, looking out over a great chasm that stretches to the beginning of time. Do we have the courage to jump? <laughs>